let me tell you this story about like what this has actually been bothering me lately a little bit. I know it's gonna be silly because this happened like a year ago, but I can't stop thinking of it. Um, this is about no, it's not about Ferrero Rocher. It's not about that. But this is about what happened last year when I was a cashier. Now, this story, like, you guys are probably going to be like, oh, this story ain't no, this story ain't no big deal and all this stuff. But anyway, there's two guys, right? They come up to my cash register. They look like, immediately, I thought that they looked like criminals. Like, <laughs> they look exactly like some type of criminals that you would see, like, in the newspaper or something like that. They did something wrong, whether it was, like, some type of mob activity or something like that. But they were two, like, um, Latino guys, you know, um, one was darker than the other, so, yeah, yeah, so one was tall, and then he was kind of darker than the other one, and then the other one was short, and he was older, he was older, and then I, <laughs> and I looked at them, like, they look like freaking criminals, criminals, I can feel it, like, um, so, when I was actually ringing them up, I, um, I ended up putting the um, paper bag, not paper bag, but plastic bag down because like the way I, the where I work is kind of freaking ghetto. They don't actually have it like a a neat little system where you can get the plastic bag. They have it so that the plastic bags are falling down and then you have to take them, then you have to put them on the counter, then you have to do this and do that or whatever. So you have to straighten up all the time. And so like I put the plastic bag down where the other plastic bags were. What this guy did, the tall guy, the tall younger guy, um, what he did was he kept looking at the fact that, like, at that plastic bag, like, he, like, he kept looking at it, like, he kept checking to see if I actually hit him with the plastic bag. It was close, but I didn't actually hit him. <laughs> and I, as a cashier, I, I really noticed that. You know, as and then I'm like, and I immediately felt that the guy, the old, younger guy, he was racist. I immediately felt that he was racist. Like, he thought that he was, like, better than me. Um, so, I noticed he kept checking, like, if the plastic bag hit him. And now I'm looking at the plastic bag. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at the other guy. I'm like, these guys are definitely freaking criminals. This dude, he has, like, an anger issue, like, for real. Um, a really bad anger issue, and he probably would do something to me if we weren't in public. Um, cause I can feel that he's kind of, you know, he's not right. The other guy, the older guy, he's, 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 he's just as bad, but he's probably not as like, he's just mellow. He's just more mellow when it comes to situations like this in public or whatever. I don't know. But, um, so anyway, when the transaction was over, I ended up asking uh, my my manager, right, to go on break. So I ended up getting the card like this to the guy. And I'm like, manager, can I go on break? May I go on break or whatever? And, and so the manager was like the whole time, he was like looking in line to see like if anybody was in line. There was nobody in line, but yet he's, and then yet and still he kept looking for like at least five seconds. I'm like, there's nobody in line. Can I go on break? Right? He's like, yes. And then I turn and look because nobody, he didn't, the tall guy, that was his car, by the way. He didn't grab his car back. I was in, I ended up handing it to the, the older guy. Right? And so I'm like, oh, and I hand the card to the, to the younger guy. Right? And I didn't apologize because, like, I felt that he thought that he was so much better than me because I'm black, you know? He was giving me some type of, like, vibe that he wanted to freaking hurt me. Like, you guys are probably like, oh, my gosh, how do you know that he won't? I felt it. That's how I know. I felt it. I felt it. This, that's, that's the type of mo. Those are the type of mofos that I, if I had a gun, I would carry a freaking gun around, okay? Because I would not go anywhere along with any of them, you know? Along with any of them. Um, so... And then I handed it to the guy, and I didn't look at him in his face because I felt that he was pissed off. And so I looked at the other guy, and the other guy kept laughing, the older guy. He kept laughing. Um, like, and so they just, like, and they just walked away. 
I I can tell this guy was pissed, the taller guy. I don't I don't know their issue, but like you see what I mean? Like it's just that it's just that people it's it's just like you just run into like so so many people and there's always just like a few people that just kinda act kinda off, you know? It's always just a few things and it's like um I don't know why I share this story. It's been on my brain for like a while, I'm like five days now. I, I think I thought about it on like on and off for like five days. <sighs> so that's what happened. Like to me, like it's been on my brain because like I really do feel in my heart, like I y'all don't call me crazy or, or anything like that. I really do feel in my heart that they were criminals, like maybe gangsters or something like that. But criminals period that that mofo or at least both of them they would freaking hurt me if they could do it if we weren't in public i don't know that like, you guys may go oh your feelings may be wrong maybe they are because i'm just i'm not perfect but yo that was just experience like the emotions were really strong <sighs>